Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we'll be talking about a guy called B Lord. B Lord. That is the name that he goes by. This guy is said to be very rich. Now, he claimed that he has made his money from tech, from cryptocurrency, and many other um, currency. In fact, there was a time that this guy was called upon by the Economic Financial Commission, that is EFCC. And he came out, he smiled, he said, oh, they have nothing against me. They have nothing against me. Then he was being um, checked for fraud. What is this guy doing? How come this guy is always acting like so rich and also showing um, a lot of money? Well, there is a problem, a very big problem right now because B. Lord um, is setting section of the Nigerian police has decided to invite B. Lord. You know, they say every day for the thief, one day for the owner. And at times you might start good, start clean, but in between, um, you become prideful, you become a tyrant, you believe that um, everything revolves around you, you believe that you know just everybody in this world. And with this, you choose within you to be bad. So now comes a guy called a very dark black man. Um, well, very dark black man called out this guy, B Lord. Although prior to this, this guy had the lambasted very dark black man when he talked about something related to um, singer Davido's wedding. Um, he had mocked some people that he felt were his enemy. And B Lord wrote something insulting the father of very dark black man, saying, Oh, you, if your father worked hard and was rich, You'll be working in one of your father's company. You will not be here misbehaving on social media. Well, that didn't go down well with a very dark black man. But rather than him being petty, like just insulting him back, like your father to his days and that, uh, immediately certain people who had certain things against B. Lord, I mean, they have evidence against B. Lord, they decided to send all of this to very dark black man and he decided to swing into action. Now, this action... Ah, I mean, it took this action to the next level. There is a certain department in the Nigerian police that deals with fraud and some other related offenses. Well, Mr. B. Lord is cooling his feet with the police and it is not an easy thing. Let us listen to what is happening and we'll be talking more. But before we proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. B. Point. B. Point. This B. Point, so... The same of B point. First of all, if you want to buy a time, now B point. If you want to pay for data, B point. If you want to pay for cable TV, B point. If you want to pay your electricity, B, B point. If you want to book your flight, B point. If you want to fall down to your betting wallet, B point. Oh, if you want to book ticket to go watch me, B point. If you say, okay, my Apple Music, that is my really, really problem. Uh -huh. You will do virtual card with B point. If you want to buy a gift card, B point. So that kind of person, if he creates this kind of solution for Nigerians, eh? They're supposed to make a minister. They are minister of technology. Yeah. Minister. Minister. Not the, not the only minister of technology. They forgive a minister of interiors and power. I nah, don't hear of below that. If no beside no, if no beside no Jolof, and I like Jolof. <laughs> I've started this team with course. Now, the law was an influencer, right? If you want to college job, right? Do an investigation on the work where you want the influence. Do you understand? Because what these people do behind, we now know they know. A lot of Nigerians, they where all these people don't use all these things, they, they scam when they go they cry. But they don't get the platform to cry out. So you go be as if nothing they happen. This B Lord app now where you advertise B points this, B points that, B point this, B point that. The complaint when I get about that app, if I if you don't play it, it's 10. Make a start up. Make a start from number one. See this one? This one. 1.1 million error. You understand? 1.1 million error. This is the 1.1 million fake alert sent claiming they said they sent money. I tested all of them, even B Lord, but I didn't get a response. That's number one. Let me go to number two. See when it text B Lord, right? Now let me go to number two. Number two, this one said the scam on 12,000 error. This is the receipt. I said, when was this? He said, 30th of March, 2024. Now, let me go to another one. This one said, b Lord app, hold my 300K. Now, let me go to number four. $100, b Lord app. Now, I said, wait, he said, you see, he said, the total of $839 was sent. In place, they do all this transaction. In no consent, they complete money to the guy. Do you understand? That's another one. Now, see this other one. This one, they sent me a receipt of 280,000. That's another one. Now, see this other way they complain. b Lord app, hold 300K. See, here is complain. So the accounting, I've been using it since, like, I've been using it last year. So I just did 300k to the account. When I did 300k to the account, the, the first of all, block the account. I cannot access it. Later, 
I had access to the account. And then when I try to do transactions, it's showing me that your account has been found, you can't do this transaction. And guess what? This is also the similar type of complaint people have made. Even that Bidlot app, I don't send them message before, in respect of like two people. And they open the people's account. Imagine if those boys didn't reach out to me. Do you understand? What these people do is, if you load money in that thing, they will clamp it. They will not give you access to it again. Do you understand? Other people will send money for the charge card, 12,000, 10,000. All these masters send money like this now. And they will, a lot of people, I know if you complain, the one side will say, okay, I'll just leave it for God. Their money don't go like that. Do you understand? If you want to use this billboard app, use your sense. Do you understand? You see this other guy said, I won't tell us that we won't fight petition. Me, they go investigate the guy. Me, they investigate him. Because this is only two months. Different complaint every time. And the Mumu Nigerians now they go call me enemy of progress. I also, you know, see people also they cry. That person went 1.1 million and did it, and I know pick up for ground. Now, with so many complaints coming right, left, and center, finally people found a platform, a place for them to express their thoughts because coming up with an idea an entrepreneur that you say you are um, a tech guy or whatever it is or you found people to create an app for you to do business you should have what i call a proper customer care service a lot of people claim that their money disappeared and they have no platform to express themselves well mr jollof uh, mr jollof who is the spokesperson or let's say the um let us say the marketer sort of influencer for this particular billboard app um he responded to very dark black man in a way that uh, made him reply back he said whenever he finds very dark black man he's going to beat him up he's going to slap him he's going to deal with him there's nothing that didn't come out of his mouth and you know he had to respond black back you you saw a um, couple of audio recordings and evidence from people about their money that is no longer available to them anymore. What is really happening? I know that once uh, money issue comes into an app, inflow and outflow, maybe one way or the other there is a kind of a problem or issue, but you need to pay back the money that disappear during that transaction to the owner of the money isn't it is that not what it's supposed to be well let, let us listen more and we'll, we'll we'll talk by default but for posterity's sake let me respond to your video the b point video yeah out of joy that made me make that video for b lord because when i need solution on how to deal, uh, do my whether they call that my apple itunes card or whatever my Apple Music, yeah. Now, be Lord, just carry phone. When I complain online, I be Lord, now just carry phone. Just tell me, say, ah, download this thing, use this thing, it can work, you know. So, now, discussion out of joy of what you do happen, let me make that video for the be Lord yesterday. And when I make that video, I see a series of complaints. Yes, every business is banks, you know, then they get complained. And I reached out to this be Lord, say, I see some people they complain for this thing, what's going on? And he explained. And he even let me know, say, they get over 1.5 million uh, users and they need more hands to feed the really attend to customers. And most of the issues that they have on now, probably communication glitch or whatever. This man explained to me, and I they see the complaints people they get, and they reach out to have a back end. So not if say we know they do verification before we they, they, they endorse some brands, okay? I'm well-schooled, I'm well-enlightened, you know? I'm well-traveled. So when you want to talk to somebody like me, normally, we don't go through the highs and lows for social media influencing. Eh? Suppose they had uncle, you they do your hand like this for me. If you say because you get chest, if you say what you want, you don't follow me, I will slap your eye. Yeah, I'll slap your eye, eh? If you don't mean you won't follow this on. Alright, uh, Mr. Jalof, I just see your video. Before I address that video, there's one part where you say if you see me, you could slap me. You understand? And that's where you talk, you make me fear. It should be say, you know, say the best form of defense is attack. You know that you talk on social media. So if you see me, you could slap me. So if I see you anywhere now, I will have to defend myself by attacking you first. Because if I don't attack you, you rush on slap me. So I defend. So anyway, when you are you see now, eh? if you don't give me that slap, eh, I will knock you slap. You understand? And I promise, I promise you. I know they follow you do social media crews. I don't catch crews, yeah? You understand? That's actually good some work. And the good part is we do have a together, so we may likely meet anywhere. So if I see you, I have to give you that slap before you give me to protect myself. Else you're gonna you're gonna hurt me, right? That's number one. Number two, right? You say by default, you're not supposed to address me. It should be say, I know you to be person where not really get sense, but I don't know say you did this stupid, right? I make my video. I just created an awareness, right? And you just jump just as they make nonsense. You understand? Now you say you're not supposed by default, you're not supposed to respond to me. The mistake you people make, all these influencers, is that you think I make my video so that you respond. I make my video to create an awareness. What happened? A lot of people don't reach out to me. I brought out evidences in my video for crying out loud. 1.1 million, 280,000, 300,000, 12,000. I get series of complaints about Billboard app. Do you understand? I brought out, I even play voice notes. 
This is the reason why I say people should be careful of the app. This Bill Lord app, when they did this Bill Points now, since 2023, I don't they reach out to them. They help people. They collect their money from them. Evidence is there. See the parts why I even tell them, say, see, if, the, if anybody complains to me again, I will cast them online. Meaning, say, I don't even reach out to them from back before we go start to the talk online. Do you understand? So, because I say, now you they talk to the guy, get 1.5 million people, then 10 people complain. Now, they say the app no good. Who tell you, say, now 10 people don't complain? How are you sure? Now, you say the reason why you post the Bill Points app. Now, because say, eh, you they complain about Apple Pay. Then, Bill Lord can't call you. As Bill Lord can't solve your problem. Out of abundance of your heart, you can't say, make you, make you help and post. You, your love, we know. You already say, you now money. They, feel, they give you 10 dollars a year, you feel like that for granted. They lick, they lick leg. You will not get class. You already say, you feel like that. You feel like that, they lick leg. Now, you open your mouth, they follow me. They tell you, you already say, now money, if you control your life. Not be you whiskey toss you never chop. You and your family never chop. You sold whiskey today, tomorrow you go to beg them. You have to say you go for me to go eat and you have no class, no integrity for crying out loud. You open your mouth, they talk nonsense. How money they control your life? You have no class. Not be you go support PDP today, tomorrow you go support APC. You have no level, no class. And you open your mouth, they address me. You, you are the last person I think should address me. You have you don't even have that level to address me. You know rich. You know rich. Do you understand? So people complain. Now you they talk for your for your video, say eh, the boy don't already tell you say you don't get much helping hand, that eh, it does not have much clear eh, customer market that is going to employ more. Why is he telling you? Are you the 1.5 million users that are using the app? Why is he not addressing them on the page? Why is he not saying, okay, there's complaint, though. Please, we'll get back to you people. We'll try better to work on the app. No, they don't address nobody. The people where their money don't go, don't go. These people came to complain to me. I didn't come online, come talk. You did the talk. Would you help them talk? Do you know how many people have been affected? You say, if I see you, make a call, you uncle. I will talk a truck with some work at the day where I will see you. Now get a maca. Now get a maca. When we skip, say, you and your family never chop. Why you don't tell them, make call, you uncle? You say, you go to worship them. They, 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 they bath on top and let the beggar. Mm -hmm. Till I see you. Now, a lot of people are kind of like, surprised that Bill Lord could be arrested not because Bill Lord is anything special like but he has bragged several times that he knows a lot of people he knows people he's connected I'm kind of thinking would be Kubana is his uh, maybe kind of mentor or someone that he goes to as an elderly person older person to seek for advice and he believes he knows a lot of people but a um, very dark black man said he has receipt and that he's going to show um him that he is based in abuja and that he has been given the assurance by a particular senior police officer who is the head of this section of the police uh, where issues such as uh, fraud and criminal activities that has to do with cyber um where it is dealt with so he did what he did he put out the petition and b lord has been arrested well let us listen. Let us listen to um, the latest that is happening right now, the update on um, B Lord, um, because uh, it seems uh, we are beginning to clean and cleanse our society. Um, it is no longer going to be business as usual. If not, if we continue with this big man thing, someone is rich, then you care less how he has um, deprived people, defrauded people, bullied people. We will continue screaming justice for mobile, justice for that, justice for this without getting any answer because there is one person who somehow has acquired money and he can pay police officers, security agencies, or they are connected to one politician and they can call and say, hey, this is happening to me. Get me out of it. But what about those that have been disenfranchised? Let us listen and then we'll be going um, deeper. Breaking news, b -Lord is now in the police cell. Um, as it was picked up, as it was detained today. Yes. So, b -Lord, um now where you don't enter there, let me go back to all what you have been saying. Because I complained to you, say, make you work on your services. Say, people, they cry, say, your platform, they collect money for their answer, your response. Very dark man, your papa. Tell your mumu people where they complain, make them enter our office for Asaba, blah, blah, blah. Then you ended up with, not be me and you, but they do all these ones. I am too influential to drag you. Office is widely open. Let me read the other one. The lack of money can make one turn to a nuisance. I pray for you today. You shall never be like very dark man. I love it, do. <laughs> very dark man, he tagged me, your papa. I know you are very influential. Now, we won't see who get the influence. But you get money, Ali. You get money. When you come out now, eh? you go humble. Those people, they ginger you. You go humble now. This one room. This one room where they see. Plenty of Nago learn. I'm not go learn the other All what you needed to do was fix your customer service. Pride. My papa say they post every time. No problem. <laughs> Tomorrow they'll start with your accounts. When they load all your accounts for you, they will load it from head to down. Do you understand? They go load down. And to the other people where they do business, they complain to you if you like. You know, say you're day one or two things. Rick. And the Abuja, you say you get influence. Your influence, no rich Abuja, you say you are influential. Who gave you that influence? He <laughs> will laugh, laugh, laugh. Oh, and for the people who go say, this happy is bringing somebody down. No. The boy is too proud. You know? Simple thing. Fix the people's problem. All I needed to do was to take a petition and pressure them to bring him on. 
go see the man. When you come on, your body go cool. This your Iberian can go cool down. You go humble. Some people say, uh, B Lord go EFCC, sue EFCC, one and all that. Yes, MPF, FCCC is not EFCC. For me, it is 10 times better than EFCC. This one's like I can beat my chest that they don't collect bribe. To the best of my knowledge, they don't take bribe for anything. Even if everybody, let's assume say they collect bribe. You see that they are director, that commissioner of police, Uche, if I hear it, I can beat my chest that it's not going to take bribe from anybody. That's why I have confidence to go there on a lot of cases and I know that they will do it well. Why you say they come online, come bribe, give the talk, say collect money, I'll tell you, no worry. I know where I'll go, they go collect that money. It will beat my chest. I'm not saying the FCC collect bribe, but some people say they do. You understand? They less time, less time that if you give FCC money, they'll come out. And they are the part, they are part of the people that spoiled a lot of things in this country. And that's just the honest truth. They are part of the people that spoiled a lot of things in this country. But that's by the way. Now, the main truth of the matter is this, right? The main truth of this B Lord matter, I'll just tell you the main truth. It seems that my own case, at the end of the day, when I brought it in, it was like a tip on the iceberg. It was like a tip on the iceberg. Let me just tell you the truth. My own case was like a tip on the iceberg. So I see some people had already brought a bigger petition from the higher places. That's just the truth. Do you understand? So my own was like, okay, very that when I said it, okay, no problem. That's just the truth. Make I don't come here, come play my bar at this one. Although Mr. Gelev, you know the vibe. But I swear to God, yeah, there were bigger cases on him than VDM case. Very big. Do you understand? Very big. So in all honesty, I want to be truthful with you. It's gonna be hard for him to get out of this. That's just the honest truth. It's a bit, when I mean hard, I don't mean you go spend one week, come on. Mm -mm. It's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be really hard. It's gonna be really hard. Unless, of course, maybe he proves what they alleged. If he proves what they alleged, fine. My own. The only reason why I took petition was because a lot of people complain. And now I'm gonna be dropping the complaint after this. I'll drop the series of different people that complain to me. So that you see that these people too, they go through pains. I know a lot of you worship money. A lot of you think, okay, and this guy you like to bring people down. No, it's not about that. B Lord didn't have for me, B Lord didn't have the right um customer service. It was really rude. If people remember, I can't meet you there, you say so so people they complain, fix your this thing. You call all of them. Mm -hmm. Some people they your DM, you don't go answer them. You know, one the last one even send me DM, you know, say uh, he say yes for the phone. The guy saying go the phone. You know, a lot of things like that that you would have just easily fixed. But I think it's private, I don't know. So you're saying he's trying to bring people's business down. Also think about the people that are sad. Do you understand? You people will not know these things until you yourselves are victims of this thing. Do you understand? My only luck for some people, the only luck when I get, you see. I have a platform that can help them. Do you understand? I'm not using my platform to do anything. I have a platform that can help them. So what do I do? Do you understand? They can't go to any other person. I mean, some people might charge them to help them. They can't go to some other person. So they come to me. What do you want me to do? Do you understand? I just go and I make the complaint. And I make the complaint because at least I have direct access. And they always say, PDM, don't worry. We're going to do the case for you. Just bring it. It's that easy. So let me quickly go through what the police wrote. Prince Olumuiwa Adejobi alleged fraud violation of CBN Act, police interrogate CEO B. Lord group of companies, Linus. Linus Williams, the FCID, NPF, NCCC is currently investigating complaints lodged against B. Lord group, B. Lord Real Estate Limited, B. Lord Jet Pay, Payee Limited, and Bill Point Technology. These offenses include allegations bordering on cryptocurrency fraud, aiding internet fraud, computer-related fraud, terrorism funding, and non-compliance with regulatory frameworks. We will do due diligence in our investigations. Our cyberspace in Nigeria must be safe and secured by all means. We are committed to achieving that. Now, that's a lot. All of these offenses are, these are big. Bordering on cryptocurrency fraud, like, this is huge. This is huge. I don't know if this guy will be getting out of this anytime soon. Um, because these are a lot. Now, he will get his um, legal representatives that will help him to get out of this but evidences probably must have been gotten for them to come to this conclusion and you know um let us see because many of these guys they have prided um, they, they have bragged about uh, having the ability to influence whoever they need to influence it is not going to end anytime soon this is serious these are some of the chats um that um, below block them later please credit us the money we sent to you yesterday i beg you that money is not for one person you even had to block us for selling bitcoin worth of 1500 to you uh, i followed you because of your heart on insta blog nobody's above arm just know that the money you took is not for one person i am a legit businesswoman. i know what i'm telling you i am a breastfeeding mother you even blocked me too now look at it so many thank you for all you do, B-Lord scammed my brother in 2021, BTC worth 1.5 million Naira. He has a fake account, Iran's himself. Once you send him your BTC, he will block you. 
God will judge him. How will he claim he's not aware of an account of 500k followers? He won't end well. Now, look at it. A lot of, con you know, I will be able to do my verification and the link is fake link. I tried to log in and it didn't work. And I thought I forgot my password. He was trying different password. I was still trying different password before I know it. I received a code from them and I did not request for any code. In less than five minutes, they notified me that someone is trying to log in my email address. Hmm. 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 A lot. A lot of things are happening. A lot of things are happening. Let, let us listen to this audio. Let us listen to this audio to get a better picture of what is happening. Customers complaining. Yeah, I've been using it since, like, I've been using it last year. So, I just did 300k to the account. When I did 300k to the account, the first of all blocked the account. I cannot access it. Later, I had access to the account. And then when I try to do transactions, it's showing me it, your account has been banned. You can't do this transaction. I complain to them and they say I should complain to the other app, JetPay. There is one person that will attend to me. The person started attending to me. He was asking or she was asking for my details. My details. I was not comfortable because first of all, Billot stated in one of his videos that he does not need your BVN. He does not need anything for you to register to the account and start doing your transaction he didn't mention anything like limit he said you can do any limits as you like now attend to me now they don't want to attend to me so this message goes to the nigerian youth and that will be snappy enough you see there is this secret agenda going on in nigeria i have actually been on this suspicion for quite a long time but you see one thing about time is that time would always unravel the truth and of course Time has really proven that suspicion to be true. The arrest on B-Lord is not just an arrest on B-Lord. What happened to B-Lord is an agenda that is being played against the youths of Nigeria by the ruling class. Listen, the ruling class of Nigeria, those in the ruling class do not want the youth to progress they don't want the youth to see prosperity let me tell you how they want the youth to be the ruling class wants you as a youth of nigeria to earn the ring light and begin to insult each other the kind of lifestyle they want nigerian youth to live is the kind of lifestyle very dark man is living they want the youths to be trolling each other every day on social media, thereby being distracted. They don't want the youth to hustle genuinely. They don't want you to hustle genuinely. They want the youths to be so beggarly. Now, let me give you an instance. There is this law. They just, you know, this policy that was made by the government of Nigeria, whereas they have said that all the content creators in nigeria should begin to seek for government's approval before they can publish their contents on social media that agenda is what is playing out that policy that policy that they want to use to begin to register or come for approvals before they can publish their contents is part of the agenda that is being pushed by these people they have come to realize that Nigerian youths, out of all the, or despite all the policies they have made to subject the youth or make the youth poor, they have realized that the youth have created a pathway for themselves, for their prosperity, by engaging or putting out content. And they have seen that the youth are cashing out in these contents they, they do create. So they had to, you know, introduce that policy because all the policies if you if you check or if you notice all the policies that the policies that are being programmed and being pushed out by the political class are policies that would render the youth poor welcome back that young dude actually mangled things up um, he's trying to connect dots together in a certain way that does not make sense. Uh, are we going to call this conspiracy theory? Okay, let us say it is the reality that the upper class, as they are called, I'm talking about the elite, 
I'm talking about the looters. I'm talking about the so-called monopolist. I'm talking about whoever it is out there that wants to make sure that citizens are rendered poor, particularly the population that is much higher. I'm talking about the youth now. Now, is it right for the billord guy to render youth like himself poor? We believe that any platform you create should speak more of integrity. We are talking about people trusting their money passing through your app. That is what you should aim at. Integrity, refund, integrity, refund, investigation, integrity, refund. That is what your app should be. Now, how does the uh, arresting billboard become the so-called Nigerian uh, elite conspiracy, whatever, or I don't really get it. Like, these people want to render him useless. Um, are you trying to say that the elites looted and they are still looting. They do not want young people to create any app, for example, like the type that Bill Lord created or found people to create and um, he put his own name on it. Are, are you saying they are not permitting you to swindle other people? Is that what you're trying to say? They are not permitting you to swindle struggling people, people like Bill Lord. Why don't you go swindle those politicians that looted money? Then you'll be making sense. Now, talking about the government trying to come up with policy to stifle free speech or uh, free flow of social media via blogging and all of that, it's been a long time that they have been trying to kind of uh, shut down, put down and all of that. They want to regulate it. They want to control it. But it is impossible. It's something you cannot gag it. Yes, at times they might uh, pick on some people to kind of uh, bully them in the hope that others will be afraid. But I don't, I don't see this happening. I don't see this happening. It's not go just going to work. It is not going to work. You cannot gag um, this free speech that people have using social media. It's not possible. So saying that the government wants people to end up like very dark black man and not like be Lord. They want you to just put on um, ring light and um, be mock yourself or become useless. No, if you are talking about some other people, not very dark black man. I'm not kind of using this platform to give him a mark of excellence. He's a human being. He has his uh, past, probably present, and, and the future. But what he's doing right now is what everybody should do. We should police each other. This is how you, you see, people don't understand. They think the problem of Nigeria is our leaders. They say our leaders, our rulers. Let's not call them leaders. Our rulers are the problem. No, we are our problem. Because, uh, you see, <laughs> we are the manifestation of the government that you are talking about. Look at all the past military dictators and even civilian presidents. Which of them came from Pluto or from some other country? They grew up in the same family system. One day, someone decided to create um, this or started acting in a crazy way, foolish way, looting, stealing, and others joined. And it became a system. We have to clean ourselves this way. If you agree that Bill Lord can take advantage of people, steal people's money, do all of that without integrity, creating a business that has no integrity, then why are you blaming the government? Because if Bill Lord has the opportunity to be governor of his state or to be president of Nigeria, the same thing that he did, he will be doing it in the, on a larger scale. But if we can begin to tell ourselves the truth now, if we can begin to press for justice, press for the truth, now, yes, we are not perfect. There are certain things that people do. These are maybe tiny bits of this. and But when it comes to you trying to grab someone else's money, you are trying to defraud people, bully people, cover up crime, murder, and all of that, then people will speak. People will speak out and say, no, enough is enough. You cannot continue this anymore. We have to put ourselves right. It's important. So stop saying the government is against the government. Are we to encourage Bill Lord to take someone else's money? This dude talking, if his own money disappeared with this Bill Lord thing, what will you say? Do you know how many banks in Nigeria that folded? And some of the children and grandchildren of these criminals that claim bankruptcy because they are friends of politicians in those years, many of them came back as politicians. 
children and grandchildren of these people came back as well. Of course, they spent time abroad. They have foreign citizenship. They came back and you are now hailing them. Omo Babaolowo, rich man, child. You are hailing them. You are bowing for them. They still come because why? They, they already have it good. They have money that their parents already took from you. So it's not only politicians stealing. Friends of politicians also. Do you know how many banks? Do you know how many? Do you know how many happened? Do you know how many people suffered? Do you know how many people suffered this? So we cannot say, let's encourage this thing, let's encourage it. It starts slowly, slowly. Oh, our government is not good. Our this is not good. Our that is not good. But you are encouraging this act of wickedness. We need to call out this act of wickedness. We need to call it out. We cannot keep quiet about it. If we want to put our society right, it needs to start from you. But if you can embrace wickedness, embrace evil, then stop complaining about the government. Stop saying, oh, the president, our governor did not make, do the road. They, 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 they took the money. What? Of course. What's the difference? What's the difference? As long as you are man in a position and you choose to act without integrity, then you deserve the punishment that comes with it. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as ABC. So um, the police will do the needful, not because the police too. I'm not like saying the police as police, but I'm talking about the person, man in that position there. If that person chooses not to act with integrity and prefers to act, they be Lord. Maybe via his lawyers, like, hey, look, can we settle this out of uh, uh, this and that? How much do you need? We can pay you this amount of money to get ourselves out of this. If he decides to take the money, then he has also done what? He has also destroyed the system more. So it's not the police now. It is that individual. It might, there might be 10, there might be 50, there might be 1 million. Some might even decide not to be part of this. But if you don't want to, they sack you. So fighting evil is not, a, is, not, is not something that is easy. But you have to keep pressing. You have to keep pushing. That is my own belief. I don't know what you think of this one. Drop your comment, like, and share. See you in the next update.